Today, I'm excited to announce PitchBox Automation, a new feature that will help you automate a lot of the repetitive tasks we do in PitchBox. We all know what they are. Automatic email replies, tagging, managing milestones, chasing opportunities that are in almost their state, for example, and of course, auto office emails, and the list goes on. With automations, you'll be able to set up rules and workflows to handle a lot of those repetitive tasks for you. Automations in PitchBox is very similar to tools like Zapier and Mink, where you have a trigger and you have an action. Action, reaction, cause, and effect. Everything begins with choice. So a trigger could be, I received an email, an action would be, I snooze the email, or I resumed the outreach. A number of things can happen for each specific automation. Now let's dive in and take a look. To create new automation, I can start one from scratch, or I can utilize one of the recipes that are already pre-built for us. A simple yet extremely useful automation is handling out-of-office emails. Those include sick, vacation, bank holidays. Now it's important to connect with those people when they return, but I hate their automatic emails clogging up my inbox. So I use automation for that. Here's how. I'll start with this recipe, which automatically selects new out-of-office emails received for my when section. I'll select all projects, and then two actions are already pre-selected for me. Snooze the email and tag the opportunity. Now I'm gonna select my tag as out of the office. And then for the snoozing email, it's predefined as two days. Now two days after what? Two days after I received this out of office email? Well, potentially this person is still out of office. So having that email back in my inbox would be useless. No, maybe it's the email is gonna come back on the day they return. That is also useless because they probably returning to hundreds of emails in their inbox and chances of them seeing yours pretty much slim to none. So PitchBox offers an out of office date detection. And what this does actually reads the email through AI, identifies when this person returns and then gives you the ability and control of when you want this email to end up back in your inbox, how many days after they return. I have selected two. And that's perfect because probably two days is enough for them to go through their inbox and start receiving emails and actually paying attention to them. So two days later, after they return, this email will end up in my inbox, gives me the highest chance of them seeing my email and actually responding to them. Now I'm going to demonstrate how to set up an autoresponder automation that will archive the email, remove the contact and resume outreach. So we'll click through that automation and now I am presented with a two-step process, when and then. So the when is the trigger. When something happens, we're going to then do this action. So when in this setup is already pre-selected for me when autoresponder email is received. I'll select all projects. And I can also define a condition. And condition is basically a filter. I could say only execute this if it, the email comes through a specific email account or it has a specific email subject line. I'm going to leave it as is because any autoresponder is good enough for me. The next action is the then. What I want happen is by default, three things. Archive the email. So I don't want to see this email in my inbox. Next action is remove the contacts from the opportunity. Chances are it could be support at or something along those lines that responds with automatic responses. And I don't want to necessarily continue reaching out to them. And the next step is resume outreach. So I don't want to wait for somebody to get back to me, even if that email says we received your request or we received your email, give us a few days and we'll get back to you. I don't want to wait. I want automatically that contact to be removed. I want this email to be archived and I want the outreach to be resumed. By resuming outreach, it means that PitchBox will move on to the next contact I have in line for this specific opportunity. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on next. I'm going to give this automation a name handle autoresponders, and I'll click on create. And now I can see I have the handle autoresponder automation turned on. Another cool automation is a link monitoring. When a link is lost, create a new opportunity for outreach. So I'll click on that recipe. I have link monitoring lost already pre-selected. I'll select a home decor project. And for my action, I'll select create opportunity, and then I'll select the campaign. What this will do, it'll create an opportunity inside dining table campaign and get it ready for outreach so that I can bring my link back online. Pitchbox automation offers a lot of triggers and a lot of actions. 
I encourage you to play around with them and see what works best for you. With over 100 combinations of triggers and actions, possibilities to automate your workflow are practically endless. Go ahead, jump in, try it out, and see how you can improve your link building process.